oral hygiene, oral inspect lips, gums, and oral mucosa and tongue for deviation from normal. Identify the present of oral problems such as tooth caries, hyaluronidosis, gingivitis, and loose or broken teeth. Assess for gag reflection when appropriate. Introduce self and verify the client's identity using agency protocol. Explain to the client what you're going to do, what is necessary, and how the clients can participate. Observe the hand hygiene. Observe the appropriate infection prevention procedure. Provide for the clients privacy by drawing the curtains around the bed or closing the bed to the room. Prepare the client. Position the unconscious client in side lying position, which the head of the bed lower in the position is chosen from the unconscious client's receiving mountain. If the client's head cannot be lowered, turn it to the one side. Place the towel under the client's skin. Place the towel basin against the client's skin and lower chin to receive the fluid from the mouth. Apply gloves. Clean the teeth and rice the mouth. If the person is naturally teeth, brush the teeth as described in the first part of the scales 33-4. Brush gently and carefully to avoid injury at the gums if the client has artificial teeth. Clean them as described as the derivation section of the scales 33-4. Rice the client's mouth by drawing about 10 ml of water or alcohol free. Mouthwash into the syringe and injection it gently into each side of the mouth. Watch carefully to make sure all of the rising solution was run up the mouth into the basin. If not, suction the fluid from the mouth. Repeat rising until the mouth is free from dentrifice is used. Inspect the appliances, the oral tissue. If the tissue appears dry or unclean, clean them with the foam swab or gas and clean solution. Use the moistened foam swab to wipe the muscous membrane of one cheek. Describe, describe, discard the swab in waste container using fresh up one clean in the next area. Clean all the mouth tissue in orderly progression using separate applicator to the cheek, roof of the mouth, base of the mouth, and tongue. Observe tissues closely, inflammation, and dryness. Brush the client's mouth to describe in step 5. Ensure clients conform. Remove the basin and dry around the client's mouth with towel. Replace artificial denture if indicated. Lubricant the client's lip with water soluble in moisturizer. Remove the discard glove. Perform the hand hygiene. Perform assess document assessment to the feet, tongue, gums, and oral muscosa. Include any problems in the source, intervention, and swelling of the lungs. Batting a adult client. Before batting a client, determine the purpose of what type of bat the clients need, self care ability of the client, any movement or position precautions, specificity of the client, other care the clients may receive, such as physical therapy or x ray, in order to coordinate all aspects of the health care and prevent unnecessary fatigue. Client's comfort level will begin battered by someone else. Necessary bath equipment and lines. Introduce self and verify the client's identity using agency protocol. Explain to the clients what are you going to do, what is necessary, and how the clients can participate. 
from hand hygiene, observe other appropriate infection prevention procedure, provide the client's privacy by drawing the curtains around the bed or closing the other of the room, prepare the client's environment, invite a family member or significant other to participate in design request by the client, close window and doors to ensure the room is comfortable in temperature, offer the client's bedpan or urinal or ask whether the client wishes to use the toilet or common. Encourage the clients to perform as such as the personal self-care as possible during the bath assess the area of the skin. For a bed bath, prepare the clients and position the clients bed appropriately. Position the bed as a comfortable working height, lower the side of the rail, of the side of the as a sign of you, keep the other side trail up, assist the clients to look near you. Place bath blanket over the top sheet. Remove the top sheet from the other bath blanket by starting the client's shoulder and moving lines down to towards client's feet as the client to grab and hold the top of the blanket while pulling the nail to the foot of the bed. If the clients grow wild, keeping the client's covered with the black bath blanket while down in the linen hamper. Make a bath meat with the washcloth. Wash the face. Place the towel under the client's head. Wash the client's eyes with water. Only dry them well. Use a separate corner of the washcloth for each eye. Wipe from the inner to the outer pantas. Ask the whether the clients can soap use on the face. Wash rice and dry the client's face, ears, and neck. Remove the towel from under the client's head. Wash the arm and hand. Place the towel lightwise under the arm up, away from you. Wise, wash, rise, and dry them while elevating the client's arm and supporting the client's wrist and elbow. Use long, firm stroke from the wrist to shoulder, including axillary area. Apply deodorant or powder if desired, especially potion if needed the client with respiratory alteration. Optional, place the, a towel to the bed and put in the basin on it. Place the client's wash hand in the basin as the client needs to wash, rice, and dry hand. Paying particular attention to space between the fingers. Repeat. Repeat for the hand, arm, knee, resume, exercise, caution if. For infusion, represent the cheek, check if flow after moving the arm. Avoiding submersing the foresight is dressing site. is not the clear, transparent dressing. Wash the chest and abdomen. Omit the chest and abdomen for partial bath. However, the areas under human's breast may require bathing if this area is ir irritated or it supplies a significant respiration under the breast. Place the bath towel lengthwise over the chest. Fold bath blanket down to the client's pubic area. Dip the bath towel of the chest and bath the chest and abdomen with the mitted hand using long, firm stroke. Give special attention to the skin under the breast and other skin fold, particularly if the lines overweight, rise and dry well. Place the bath blanket when the area is mid dry. Wash the leg and feet. Omit legs and feet for the partial bath. Expose the far leg farthest from you and folding the bath blanket toward the other leg. Being careful to keep the premium cover. Give leg the place the bath towel lengthwise under the leg. Wash, rise, and dry the leg using long, smooth, firm stroke from the ankle to the knee to the thigh. Reverse the covering of the feet from the other leg. Rise the feet by placing them in the basin of the water. Dry each foot, paying particular attention to the space between the toes. If preferred, wash the foot after the leg before washing the other leg. Obtain fresh, warm bath water now or when necessary because surface skin cells are removed with washing the bath water from the Dark skin clients may be dark. However, this
this does not mean the client is dirty. However, lower the bed and rise the side rails when refilling the basin. Wash the back of the bed and premium. Assist the client into the prompt or side lining position facing away from you. Place the back towel to lengthwise alongside the back and the bottom tops while keeping the clients covered with the back blanket as possible. Wash and dry the clients back and moving from the shoulder to the bottom tops and upper tights. Pay attention to the gluten fold. No the discard glove if you says. Remove Perform the back massage now and after. Assist the client to the supine position and determine whether the clients can wash the premial area independently if the clients can do. Tip the clients and wash the area. Assist the clients with grooming aids such as the powder, lotion, or deodorant. Use powder springily. Release as little as possible the atmosphere. Place the clients with gloves or pajamas. Assist the clients is care for hair, mouth, and nails. Some people definitely care mouth care to pile with the bath. After bath tub or shower, feed the bath tub using the turd. Document the following. Type of the bath given completely, partially, or self help. This is a record on the flow sheet. Skin assessments are exorciation, eczema, exudates, rashes, drainage, or skin breakdown. Nurse intervention related to skin integrity. Ability of the clients to assist a participate with bathing. Clients' response to bathing has also documented the need for rest assessment of vital sign if appropriate. Educational needs regarding hygiene, information and teaching share with the clients of the family.